All right, so this is not the way I wanted to start the video, but as you guys can see right now, Mr. Details is removing the PPF from the door. He removed it from the hood. He's going to go ahead and remove it from the fenders as well um, and the bumper. This is how we're going to start the vlog. All right, guys, so <laughs> we had a bit of a technical difficulty. I have Moses kind of helping me out, and I forgot that on the previous setting, I left the camera on time lapse. So I went ahead and recorded the unboxing, but there was no audio. So everything that I said pretty much is gonna go ahead and get scratched off. And we're gonna go ahead and pick it up from here. Um, Rafael's already gone for the day. Um, he pretty much did the whole entire car. I just need to go ahead and put the lip. Now, this is the box that has the lip. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the M Performance lip once again. Um, for me, there's nothing like OEM quality, OEM fitment. Um, there are more aggressive lips out there and I had mentioned I was going to go with something more aggressive but this whole car is OEM. I cannot go ahead and put something that's not OEM and with the time frame it wasn't really feasible for me to order any other components so once again I reached out to IND and as always they take care of me. Um, I guess they take care of you guys as well when you guys place your orders you guys know that you guys get everything in a nice beautiful package as you guys can see I got a few packages myself um, this one has the end performance slip I had already opened it and I have already shown you guys what it looks like so I'm not gonna go ahead and go through that once again but in this box I did also get the bolsters for the bucket seats um, as you guys know I did have bolsters before but they were the black with the red stitching for the M5CS um, but this you guys the Fiona red with the black it, it's just this is what's meant to be on the car so I'm gonna be doing that on another video um, at the same time I'm gonna be refreshing the emblem on the hood I uh, the one I removed it had a couple rock chips I didn't PPF that so had I PPF it I would have reused it but since so it had a few rock chips on there, and I just really want this to look so good. Um, I picked up a new emblem as well, so we're gonna be PPFing this as well, so that's why it's still not on the vehicle. I went ahead and also got some canards. Now these are the M Performance canards. So if you guys are interested, they are available on IND's website as well. The only con to the, this these canards is that I do need to drill into the bumper. Um, Comment down below, you guys. Let me know if this is something that I should do or maybe hold off on. Um, Beamer Invasion is just a week away, so I'm kind of debating on whether to install these components or not. But everything going on, I, I forgot to do just the smallest details. And this is not going to be seen at the event, but maybe for the pre-events and everything else. Or maybe just from now on, just to kind of just get thing, things moving along a little bit faster. So we went ahead and we went with these LED projectors. And these are the 50th anniversary, so it's gonna complement the um, the emblem on the hood, on the trunk, and also on the center caps. The center caps have the 50th anniversary uh, center cap right there, as you guys can see. So all this will match perfectly. Now, um, actually, before I finish, get to this box, Let's get on back to the end, to the GD. Um, as you guys knew, and I had mentioned before, the G80 has a very particular part of the engine bay that everyone is really updating, and uh, I didn't want to fall behind. I just kind of hesitated a bit with, again, guys, modding two cars does get expensive, as you guys can see. All of this is definitely adding up. So, without further ado, and as you guys just saw, without me even getting to it, this is a dry carbon piece. What a beauty. As you guys can see, everything is dry carbon. Nothing is a, is a wet carbon, which wet carbon means that um, the bottom part is basically all blacked out, which is plastic, and then they put um, carbon on top of that. So that would be wet carbon, but this, guys, this is dry carbon. This is the real deal here. This thing weighs nothing. I mean, if I give it to Moses, what do you think? How much does it weigh? Pretty light. 
Yeah, so it actually weighs nothing, which, which is gonna give us weight savings. Um, the original BMW piece weighs about five, 10 pounds maybe. Um, this thing weighs less than a pound, maybe half a pound, if that. Um, and then again, this incredible finish, the weave, the carbon fiber. I think this is really gonna complement the engine and really gonna make that individual, you know, like um, individual sticker just pop. If we walk over here to the engine bay, I've actually uh, kind of kept this a little dirty on purpose. Um, but pretty much this is uh, the ugly basic metal one. And um, this is a nice, beautiful one that's going to go ahead and replace this. Now, can you guys just picture this right there? Complementing the Carbonis brace, the inventory engine cover, the inventory intakes. Man, this thing's a beauty. And then we have the Daytona Violet individual sticker on there. This is going to just pop so good, you guys. Just ready for the event. Ready to go ahead and... Uh, make this my version two of uh of this build um i wish i would have gotten some wheels but again you guys with everything that we're getting and like i said it's always two we don't just do one we do two and with saying two we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be doing also a few a few updates to the m4 um, I've been meaning to replace the air in, uh, the air filters for my inventories on the M4. These filters are gonna give the air intakes a beautiful sound. Um, so you guys can see the design, everything that goes into it. I mean, the guys at Eventry design the intakes for performance, not just aesthetics. The aesthetics is a huge bonus, but everything that you guys see here has been engineered and designed to get performance gains more than anything. It's not just about the sound, but the performance. Now, as far as performance goes, I couldn't help myself. Now, this is something that uh, that is on a few very special vehicles. Um, you guys would see this on the M4 GT4 or on the M4 GTM. Now, this is something that my buddy Sam has on his M4, and we're gonna be doing a video on his car pretty soon as well. We're gonna be talking about everything that he's done to his car and then we're going to be doing a lot of special modifications this is also in preparation to beamer invasion so without keeping you guys in a lot of suspense i went ahead and got the m4 dtm canards now these are the actual bmw canards um <laughs> again i am going to be drilling into the bumper for the m4 I'm going to, I've already decided and it's going to happen. I feel like these canards on the M4 with the wing, with the whole um, vision and flow of the car, I, I feel like these are just going to complement the car so well. Now, these are the passenger side. Um, again, this is my version. Uh, I don't know what version it would be, but this is just another revision for the M4. Um, we're going to be pairing this up with something very special, hopefully. Um, but again, I'm gonna have to drill into the bumper, put rivets on there, and then just get everything flowing really good. So, um, a lot of modifications going down, you guys. Um, we got some, we got more stuff on the way from IND, like I said. Um, plenty of more goodies for the M4. So, stay tuned, you guys. This video is gonna be just very short. We're not gonna go ahead and get too much into it. But, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. With that said, we're gonna go ahead and come to the end of this video. So, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Turn on your notifications. You don't wanna miss um, a notification with, with the new video that's gonna be coming on. We are gonna be reinstalling more components, but I'm not gonna bore you with the, the, the stuff that we've done in the past. We'll probably just do like a quick time lapse. But for all these new components, I don't think you guys want to miss what's going to happen next. So stay tuned, you guys. And uh, that's the best way to support the channel. Um, make sure to subscribe and make sure to share the video too. I'm going to see you guys in Beamer Invasion. I'm going to have my own booth right there. So I can't wait to see you guys there. I'm going to go ahead and get both cars ready for the event. So I'll see you guys there. And uh, still getting this car ready. So stay tuned, you guys. Plenty of videos on the way. Later.